guys, so here, I'm here again with my Lush review from the stuff that I got back in May. And I've used quite a bit of it and I've actually gone and repurchased some of some of it again. Sorry I have the hiccups. Um, um Oh yeah, okay, so yeah, I went back a couple days ago and I got a few more things because I'm going to give them to my friend who just graduated and it's going to be her little present because she's never tried out Lush and I want to introduce her, her to it and, you know, get her obsessed with it because it is amazing. So anyway, I'm going to get started and my first product that I, um, I'm going to talk about is the Think Pink Bath Bomb and this is actually a repurchase and this is what I'm going give, to give to her. Um, this one is, uh, I want to say it's $3.95, and I like, I kind of, I don't know if I liked it that much. I, I'm not big on bath bombs. I don't know, I liked it enough to get her one because I thought, you know, she should try at least one of it, and I don't know, I tried it, and it, no, I liked it a bit. I'm sorry, I'm rambling, and I'm not really caught up in my thoughts. The one thing I did actually like a lot was it made my bathroom, well actually two things, made my bathroom smell really good afterwards, and, um, and also it made the water pink, and that's pretty much really all, but I mean $3.95, so it's alright. The next thing is the Creamy Candy. Oh crap! It is rumbling all over the place. Um, another <laughs> repurchase. My this one's crumbling. Uh oh. Oh well, it's gonna end up crumbling anyway. This is the creamy candy bath bomb bubble bar. Wow, um, bubble bar, and I actually loved this. I cut it in half, and I used two halves. And you know what? I think that using like halves of them is actually really good because. You get to use it more than once, and also half of it gives you just enough bubbles to, you know, make it through a bath. And I think it smells so sweet. Like, it just smells like walking into a candy store. And, I mean, it just smells so sweet and sugary, and, oh, I love it. And so I got this again, and it makes your bath, again, turn pink. I think, I don't remember. And, um... Oops, it's crumbled all over my bed. And I just, I don't know, I like it. And you know, I think she should give it a shot. So, again, another bubble bar. Not the bubble bar, that one. No, bubble bar, but, uh, 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 oh, not, the creamy candy bubble bar was $7.25. So, I think for, you know, half of two uses out of it, it's quite good. Another one is my comforter bubble bar, and this is still my old one that I cut into four little cubes such as this and again this right here this amount is just enough to get a full bath of bubbles going that will stay the whole time pretty much and I actually kind of like I really like the comforter bubble bar I believe that it has become one of my new favorite products um, the one thing I don't like about it is when you're like draining your water, like after you crumble it all up and you take your bath, when you're draining your water and you come back, you realize that like it leaves the one some residue of like pink that doesn't that didn't get crumbled but still melted and just settled to the bottom. And so that's the one thing I don't like about it, but in the end I like it. I think it, it makes your bath water smell delicious. I think it is really, really something. It is something. <laughs> It is indescribable. Indescribable. Undescribable. Indescribable. I'm not sure. I didn't pay attention to language arts this year. Ooh, do not take that from me. Paying attention is good. But anyway, the Comforter Bubble Bar is $9.95 for four baths out of it. And you know what? Personally, I'm, I would choose bubble bars over the bubble bath, like, gels that you get out of, like, little bottles that you pour in. Because personally, I think the gels... One, I think you pay twice as much. You use half a bottle just to get the same amount of bubbles that you would get out of a quarter of a comforter bubble bar. They smell fake and perfumey, ma majority of the times. And I just, I think that, you know, I'm just going to stick to bubble bars. So if you like bath gels, 
bath bubble bath gels, then you know what? Go ahead. But until you've given bubble bars a shot, I think you should, you know, wait before you say, Oh my god, bath bubble bath drop bell bells gels are the best thing ever. But you know what? Hey, you're available to have your opinion. You're available. You're able to have your opinion. I'm available to have my opinion too. And my opinion is bubble bars. Love them. Alright, so the next thing I got is the. Oh. The Floating Island Bath Melt. And. Truthfully, I'm not sure if I love this. I've heard a lot of people rave about this. And right, I'll give it to them. It does smell good. But I think mine, like, I don't know what's on mine. Mine turned like this weird gray color. I don't know if that's normal. I've seen them really white. And so, I mean, I've cut a few chunks off of it. And this, and I'm not quite sure if I like it as much. I mean, alright, when I was cutting into it, it kind of crumbled everywhere and I got kind of messy. And also, it turned my bath water kind of gray and it made me think, am I taking a bath in dirty water? I don't know. It might just be mine. I might have to go and get another one because I think mine might just be weird. But it does smell good and um, it smells like cupcakes and I think that's amazing. I love cupcakes. So for what it is, it is good. It makes the bath water really smooth so it, it does what it's supposed to do. And for a floating island bath melt, it is only $7.95 and I've used that like three or four times. So, well, actually, never mind. I've used that two times, actually. Two or three. Okay, and my other bath melt that I got was the Happy Blooming bath melt, and it was $6.95, and I cut a chunk of it right here off and just threw it in my bathtub. And I like this one a bit more than the um, Floating Island, mainly because when I cut into it, it wasn't as messy. It was just one, you know, swift cut. And also... It didn't, it turned my bath water pink and it just like melted and it felt so smooth against, like I would just pick it up and rub it against my skin and it just felt so smooth. I don't know, I just, I, I think I prefer this one and it smells like cherries and I, I'm more of a fruity person than like the vanilla-y cupcake-y smell. I'm more of a fruity, like scented kind of person. And then the next thing I, my last thing I got actually and this, oh my god, this right here is by far my favorite, favorite, favorite. And you know, you always have to save the favorites for last. Well, the best for last, anyway. This is the Godmother Soap. And I bought a chunk about, I don't know where I cut off, but like that big or so. And I cut that part of it off for my trip to state for the tournament. And I, I love this. It smells exactly like the Snow Fairy um, shower gel, and you know what? That only comes around about Christmas time, so this is my little in-between Christmas, because I don't... I haven't stocked up. I think next time I'm going to stock up on shower gels. Anywho, um, I took this with me to state, and right after my second game on my first day, I smelled like dirt, grass, sweat, and all these other, you know, nasty things. And I went and took a shower before a party that the team had. And I used the soap, and I came out smelling yummy. Like, you probably could come to me and sniff me and probably just be like, you did not play a soccer tournament. What are you talking about? So, anyway, I like it. The smell does linger. I mean, I went to my party, and my friends are like, what perfume are you wearing? I'm like, I'm not wearing perfume. I did put deodorant on, though. And it's because this. They smell this on me. Hmm, <sighs> smells so good. Go pick yourself up of it. And... I don't remember how much this chunk was, but, I mean, it's it lasts. So, anywho, that was my Lush review, and I'm sorry if I talked too fast or, you know, it was very scatterbrained. I'm sorry, I'm working on that. And I'm sorry if you don't like my appearance. I'm just wearing, you know, boyfriend's jacket because I'm about to go to bed because it is around 1. So, anywho, leave your comments, questions, concerns, and requests in the comments below, and I will definitely get to them. Also, don't forget to subscribe. And I'm going to leave the information on the side down bar, wherever bar.